Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd want to share a simple way for using outdated phones that I found. The majority of outdated phones have a small internal memory. This renders it unusable once all updates have been installed. Unless the phone's memory is at least 16 gigabytes, it will not function properly. However, many low-end phones have an internal memory of only 8 gigabytes. While those using the Android Go edition, such as the Nokia One, can function rather well with such a small amount of RAM, Samsung Galaxy phones are becoming a source of frustration for users, Android's most recent updates are also larger in size. Additionally, all mobile manufacturers release large size updates to their phones, rendering them unusable and compelling customers to purchase new phones. Therefore, Please watch this video in which I will explain the step-by-step -step method for resolving this issue. To begin, copy all of your images and files from your phone to your computer. After that, go to Settings and select Factory Reset. When the Reset window appears, click Delete All. After a few minutes, your phone will reset and restart. Now it's time for the most crucial step. Do not use your Google or Gmail account to log in. If you sign in with your Google account, your Google Play settings, Google Play Store, and Google Drive will all be updated right away. And your phone's software will be updated to the most recent version, consuming all of your phone's memory. Now, it's time to move on to the next phase. You must disable automatic updates in the Settings app settings. You can do this by unchecking the box that says, Allow Automatic Updates. If you don't do this, your phone will be updated and filled with the latest updates, leaving you with no space to install apps. Instead of installing programs from the Google Play Store, we can use the Samsung Galaxy Store to do it. The Samsung Galaxy Store typically has several essential apps that we use on a daily basis, such as WhatsApp, Telegram, Paytm, and Zoom. The Galaxy Store also has a lot of other useful apps. After connecting to the internet, install the programs you require. If you have an 8GB phone, you will most likely have 4GB of free space before you begin installing apps. After that, the majority of the programs will function normally. However, if you use WhatsApp or another app that syncs data with Google Drive, you'll need to update Google Drive. To update Google Drive, Carefully follow these steps, go to the Play Store and login in using your Gmail account, then update the Play Store and Google Play settings. You can update Google Drive once these two apps have been updated. After you've upgraded your Google Drive, go to Settings and disable the Google Play Store from the Applications menu. This will prevent the installation of further apps, so, what is the key technique? Don't leave Play Store on all the time, only use it to update Google Drive and then turn it off. You don't need to activate Google Play Store or Google Drive to install apps from the Galaxy Play Store. I hope this solves your difficulties and restores your phone's functionality.